Hey you guys, welcome to your Venus Do Signs series. This is for Venus and Aries. Um, so if in your birth chart, Venus is in a sign of Aries, these messages are for you. And this can also apply if you have Aries in the seventh house. Um, so this is for the month of March, 2020. I wanna thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they give you some clarity. If you wanna book a personal reading, be sure to email me. Payments and orders are collected on Fridays. If you want to talk to me by phone, that's a different process. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you can get the notifications of when I'm taking live calls. Um, so let's get started here. Central issue, heart of the matter. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Hermit. We have the King of Cups. We have the Fool. We have the Two of Wands. The Seven of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. Um, all right, so central issue here seems like it has to do with communication um, and speaking up about what you want, um, or if this is about your pursuer coming towards you, it's a matter of communication. I feel like you guys have also overall have, have been doing some sort of soul searching and going deep within trying to find answers. It looks like you've been um, in hermit mode. Maybe you've been doing some sort of research, um, spiritual research, trying to understand what your purpose is, what your spiritual path is. Um, it also looks like it could be a situation where someone is maybe watching you from a distance and trying to understand you before they decide to come forward. So you might also be dealing with a very analytical person. And I also feel like someone is kind of acting cold and distant if you're already in a relationship, like your person of interest or you may be acting cold and distant. Um, I feel like someone needs to figure things out. Someone is needing clarity about how to pro proceed in their situation. So regardless if you're single or in a relationship, I feel like there is a need to still do some sort of inner work um, to know what the next step is going to be. Um, you could be dealing with um, any sign. I notice all the signs usually come out when I do the Venus readings. Uh, but I do have coming out immediately is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, no, not Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, so yeah, those are the ones that are standing out the most. Now, it also looks like you don't care anymore about maybe someone from the past. It looks like maybe you're finally detaching and letting go um, and just ready for the next chapter in your life ready for some sort of new adventure. And I do feel like you're getting ready to start fresh. Um, you also may be unaware of what you're getting ready to get into next. I feel like you're getting ready to take some sort of risk or something very random is getting ready to happen in regards to your love life. Um, any type of any type of new beginning could lead to a love potential. So if you're getting ready to um, start a new job or if you're getting ready to relocate um, or if you just do any type of thing that is adventurous, it may lead you to someone. If someone is entering your life, I feel like this person is going to be very off the wall, very quirky, very unusual. Um, now people may be viewing you as clueless about something. If you're being pursued, I feel like this person is just kind of viewing you and feels that you're clueless. Mm, I don't know why they think you're clueless, maybe because you're unaware that you're being watched. There are things that you definitely need to figure out. 
there's an indication of some sort of emotional confusion like needing to make sure that you're not just doing something because of your emotions clouding your judgment I feel like there's a need for you to detach and understand your situation before you follow through with something make sure you're thinking things out before you either leave a relationship or before you enter one so depending on what your situation is you really need to detach because it is possible that you are not thinking clearly and that you are being naive and you're lashing out or um, making some sort of quick judgment on a situation maybe you don't have enough information about some things um, yeah, so whatever your situation is, whatever journey you're about to begin, I really feel like um, you really need to examine it. Don't rush. Don't run away. Don't jump in something. Um, <laughs> and maybe it's something that's already too late. Maybe it's something that already happened. And now you've reached a point where you need to really question if what you're doing is the right thing. Um... I feel, too, that you, again, need to make some sort of assessment. Um, I feel like this is a, a period of kind of like rest. Rest and reflect is what you need to do. Um, I do feel like something is manifesting here. This is an indication that what you want will materialize. It's just a matter of having patience and maybe redirecting your attention until the time comes. Because, see, I, I feel like out the blue there's going to be some sort of communication, just rapid communication. And I'm seeing sevens, so I don't know if seven is significant for you. I see seven, seven. I also see this as someone who has been thinking about you and thinking about what they want to say to you. And the minute they are sure, they might just kind of release everything that they've been thinking about and feeling without thinking. Um, just kind of pouring out their feelings because they're in love. Because sometimes I see these two cards coming out together as someone who, who has their head in the clouds. They're like so in love. They aren't really thinking about what they're doing. Um, but they don't care. They're taking some sort of risk anyway. So you may be getting ready to take some sort of risk for love or someone's going to do that for you. Yeah. Um... I feel like you're going to be doing some sort of clearing and healing. I see flirting too. I see there's going to be a lot of flirting between you and another person. I do feel like if you meet someone, um, the connection is going to be spiritual and telepathic. I feel like you're going to be very in tune with this person's energy. Um, I feel like there's going to be the the two of you come together uh, harmoniously. This is having some sort of harmony between energies. Um, you guys are easy to have. It's easy for you guys to have conversations. Uh, if you end up sleeping with them, I always this is my favorite card, one of my favorite cards, because it indicates that yes, there will be some beautiful, harmonious love making, like you know each other's bodies. Um, you're going to know how to please this person and they're knowing how to please you and it's just mutual. Um, now this also could indicate if you're in a relationship already that you're doing some sort of healing. Um, maybe you guys are compromising, meeting each other halfway, finding ways to make something work. Um, it, if there's been any type of troubles in a relationship, so whether it is clash of personalities, 
uh, financial troubles, sexual troubles, um, problems in spirituality, just any type of troubles there have been in a relationship. This looks like there's going to be a period of healing and coming together and working things out. Um, and then if you don't meet anyone, then I feel like you are doing healing, cleansing, and manifesting. You are focusing on continuously healing yourself. You might be doing spiritual baths or meditation, trying to clear out negative energy and making room for positive changes. Um, and it does look like someone would be naturally drawn to you or someone will be coming towards you because you guys are now uh, vibrating on the same frequency. You guys are connecting. Now, I also feel that there's been a lot of dreaming going on. For some of you, you're maybe you're the type of person uh, that has a lot of vivid dreams about a, a particular person or just about being in a, in a relationship in general before it happens, like you've been having a lot of premonitions. I know I'm like that. I get like, um, before someone enters my life, like anywhere between two weeks, two months, you know, I start having like a lot of uh, dreams about relationships, being in a relationship or someone that I don't know coming towards me, or even sometimes about an ex that I'm in a relationship with. I know it's not the ex, but I just know that they're standing in for what's to come. Um, and sometimes a lot of, uh, a lot of times you'll find that once you do meet this new person, Something about them and your ex is going to be similar. Like maybe they have the same birthday. Maybe they say have the same name. Um, even just anything. Maybe they work the same type of uh, in the same career field. So it's usually something. That's why it's the ex kind of takes their place in a dream. I've noticed for me anyway. Um, you I also see a lot of hearts. A lot of times like I'm always seeing hearts. Um, in food, in puddles, in clouds, like they just form and it's just like, oh my God, I'm seeing hearts everywhere. So you might have been seeing a lot of uh, synchronicities, and, but especially dreams um, that someone could be getting ready to come into your life. And I feel like that's because you guys are already together in uh, 5D. So now something could be getting ready to uh, manifest and form in the physical now, there's also something going on where maybe you've already been interacting with someone, but you're starting to see them in a different light. You're like, I never really looked at this person this way. Why didn't I feel a connection before? Why didn't I realize that we were connected before? So your views could be changing in regards to someone that you're already in contact with. Um, I also see someone, if they were confused or unsure, I feel like they're they're breaking away from that, and they they're um, they have confidence of what it is that they want, and they're coming straight towards you. They're it's like they believe in something. Their their will is strong, and they're driven. Now, also for those of you that may know your love interest already, I feel like there's been some sort of there are periods of uh, hot and cold moments. Uh, sometimes you guys, it's like you feel each other's energies, but yet you aren't doing anything about it. Neither one of you. The both of you are kind of being distant and cold towards one another. And so occasionally, occasionally you guys take turns pushing each other's buttons or doing things to try to get the other person's attention in an immature way. Um, it's like a lot of indirect communication and not enough one-on-one -on -one, um, conversation or communication. And it's also sometimes someone expecting you to read their mind or you expecting someone to read your mind. It's like just because someone is intuitive um, doesn't mean that, you know, your mind reader. So I feel like sometimes you guys start mirroring each other's um, fears and it's like your defenses go up. So those are things that are continuously needing to be worked on because I feel like there is a relationship where something is meant to be, but sometimes you guys fight it. Um. There's going to be a change 
in the direction that the relationship is going in. I feel like there's going to be more of a positive shift. Um, I do feel like you guys are going to find a way to work together and um, something is meant to be here. I see the will as something being meant to be and destiny or karma being played out like this looks like nature just taking its course. Um, and something could happen between now and what do you call it? Oh, when the sun, between now and when the sun moves into um, Aries, there could be some sort of significant changes for you. I see this as a big opportunity. And matter of fact, we have a lot of uh, significant, we have Saturn getting ready to change signs too. So for you, that might play a role in your love life, especially if you are Aquarius rising or um or Leo rising. Yeah, that it, it could play a big role in your life with Saturn changing signs. Um, yeah, so there is, I feel like your, your blessings are getting ready to be received. Uh, your prayers are being answered. Um, there's going to be someone coming into your life that feels like it's everything you asked for. Someone's coming into your life that's going to be so ready. They're going to be very confident. Um, I feel like there's going to be this natural feeling of trust between the both of you. Um, I feel that someone's going to be giving you a lot of attention. It, everything just looks really bright and and positive and I feel like your faith is going to be restored if you were having any type of doubts um, I feel like whatever obstacles or blockages there were will be removed and then we have not only the star out but uh, the nine of cups so that's wish fulfillment you know both of these are wish fulfillment cards so this is indicating that you are going to have your uh, dreams come true or some sort of wish fulfilled um, you're going to find your inner peace. Now, I still feel like you're going to make some sort of love connection if if you're single. If you don't, it still indicates that something happens to give you a sense of peace and calm and patience. Like, I feel like spirit will pour out so much love and patience for you that you don't care or you are being prepared or groomed for someone to come towards you if it doesn't happen within this uh, time frame, within a month time frame. Um, if you're, like I said, if you're in a relationship, there's definitely some sort of changes in the way things have been going. For some of you, yes, you could end up moving on from someone, especially if that's what you wanted to do or if you knew that's what needed to happen. Um, I feel like spirit would assist you with letting go or moving on from that person. Um, if it's not about a breakup, then it's about getting rid of certain things that were going on in a relationship that maybe were not working. But I see the path being clear for some of you. This is definitely... I feel like someone's going to let their guards down. Whatever, whoever has been guarded and defensive, because this could also be what's been going on, is that two people have just been very guarded with each other and always on a defense and always lashing out or fearing the worst, being mean to each other, um, Because, but more so out of fear, just like, well, if you're going to be... if. You know, I don't know if you like me or not. So let me, I'm just going to be distant to you. And, and the other person is doing the same thing. Like whatever that was going on, I feel like that's coming to an end. Um, and I feel like there's a need to let go of some sort of old belief systems. Um, let go of any type of illusions. If there was a third party situation, that's something that may be coming to an end. If there was silent treatment, I, I feel like that's coming to an end. So it does look like two people are coming face to face and able to talk and um, come together. And I do feel like you're being introduced to someone who is uh, a reflection of you and all the good qualities of you. Um, this definitely seems like 
outside forces or angels or ancestors have done some sort of work to bring the two of you together. Um, I feel like your life is getting ready to change. This Ten of Swords, in this case, also looks like the end of being single. Here, the Nine of Cups, it's like you're at peace. You're single and at peace. But the minute you feel at peace, like genuine at being at peace with being single, your life changes. And it's just like, okay, now that you've understood that portion of your life or any lesson, not even necessarily learning ha having to be single, but maybe you've been single and you've been learning things. It's weird because you never know what the lesson is until it's over. So you might be in the middle of some sort of lesson and you're like, I don't know why I'm single, but I am. Apparently, it's just not time. And I feel like the minute you've completed some sort of spiritual lesson, um, your time being alone comes to an end. And you are introduced with someone who um, the, the, the connection, even though there's a strong physical attraction, the purpose of you guys meeting uh, is bigger than the two of you. It, has, it serves a higher purpose. So maybe something about your love connection is meant to heal and help society. It's definitely giving off that twin flame vibe. But, you know, I don't like to go into the label of twin flames because I feel like you don't have to be with your twin flame to continue um, um, healing society or with whatever mission that the twins are supposed to have. I feel like, it, you know, if you're not able to be with your twin and at some point maybe you had to let go of that idea that you were going to be with your twin and it's okay. It's like maybe when you finally come to that conclusion that is when you're ready, spirit knows you're ready to now connect with the person that you're ready for. And now you guys are in alignment with each other. You guys are, um, and I've said it before, a lot of times the purpose, the mission is to just love. And this, this is also unconditional love. So the mission could be just to love and be there for each other, to learn from each other. And because the energy between the two of you is so healing and strong and beautiful, the temperance is creating a third energy. This is some sort of alchemy happen happening, regardless if you know it or not. You think that just by the two of you being happy in your little bubble, you're unaware that you are creating some sort of energy or vibe for other people um, that might need healing or assistance. And then on a mundane level, yeah, someone could be coming into your life to help uh, um, so that you guys can assist, assist each other. Um, maybe you start a business together. Maybe you are just wanting to have a family together so I can still be about mundane things. But I also feel like in a background, spiritual things are happening. So I could really go on and on. You guys seem like you had a really strong reading, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end it there. But thank you guys all for watching and many blessings to you.